Morocco is a country filled with diversity, and its cuisine is no different. Moroccan pastries have been a mainstay in the country's culture for centuries, and now, the rest of the world is beginning to take notice. The pastries of Morocco have been around for centuries, and they have been perfected by generations of chefs. Each pastry is made up of a variety of ingredients, including honey, nuts, dates, and other fruits. The result is a delectable, sweet treat that is perfect for any occasion. Moroccan pastries have become popular all over the world, with people coming from near and far to try them. They are a perfect accompaniment to any meal or just as a snack. The pastries of Morocco are a delicious tradition that will continue to be enjoyed for centuries to come. First up, let's take a look at the famous Moroccan griba. Griba is a traditional Moroccan cookie that is popular all over North Africa and especially in Morocco. It is usually made with almonds, butter, sugar, and sometimes cinnamon. The cookies are usually shaped into small, round balls and then fried. Gariba has a sweet, nutty flavor that pairs perfectly with a cup of tea or coffee. It is a great snack to serve at parties or to enjoy as a sweet treat. Making gariba is a fairly simple process. First, the almonds are ground into a fine powder. Then, the butter is melted and combined with the almond powder and sugar. Finally, the mixture is shaped into small balls and fried. Gariba can be eaten as is, or you can also top it with honey or sprinkle it with cinnamon for extra flavor. You can also make gariba with other types of nuts, such as pistachios or walnuts. Gariba is a delicious treat that is easy to make and perfect for any occasion. Give it a try today and enjoy the sweet flavor of this traditional Moroccan cookie. Next, we'll try the Moroccan Cobb El Ghazal. Cobb El Ghazal is a type of pastry that is believed to have originated in Fez, Morocco, and is now found in many other cities throughout the country. The name translates to gazelle horns in English, and the pastries have a unique shape that resembles a gazelle's horns. The pastries are usually filled with a sweet almond paste and are often decorated with orange blossom water and sesame seeds. They are then deep fried in oil, giving them a golden, crispy outside. Cobb El Ghazal is traditionally served during special occasions, such as weddings or Eid. It is also a popular snack throughout the country and can be found in many local bakeries. While the exact origin of Cobb El Ghazal is unknown, it is believed to have been created by the Amazigh people of Morocco. Today, Cobb El Ghazal is a beloved pastry throughout the country and is a popular treat for locals and visitors alike. So the next time you find yourself in Morocco, be sure to try this delicious pastry. We can't talk about Moroccan pastries without mentioning the Moroccan fekas. It's a spiced biscuit that's made with almond flour and flavored with anise and mastic. It's crunchy and sweet and the perfect way to satisfy your sweet tooth. Fekas have been around for centuries. Traditionally, they were made with semolina, flour, and honey. Over time, different variations were created as different ingredients were added to the recipe. Fekas are now available in many different flavors. From cinnamon and sugar to almond and rose water, there is something for everyone. Fekas can be enjoyed as a snack, a dessert, or even as part of a meal. They can be served with tea, coffee, or even as a side dish. Fekas are a popular treat in Morocco, and they are now becoming popular around the world. From their delicious flavors to their unique texture, fekas are the perfect treat for any occasion. Now, let's take a look at the Moroccan tradition of making and eating chabakia, a sweet and delicate pastry. Chabakia is a deep-fried pastry that is coated in honey and sprinkled with sesame seeds. 
It is traditionally made during the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan. The process of making chabakia starts with mixing flour, yeast, and water to make the dough. The dough is then rolled out and cut into small pieces which are then shaped into flowers. The flowers are then deep fried until they are golden brown. Finally, the chabakia is coated in honey and sprinkled with sesame seeds. Chabakia is usually served during the Eid al fitr celebration. It is a sweet treat that is enjoyed by people of all ages. Chabakia is a delicious pastry that is an important part of the Moroccan culture. With its unique flavor and traditional significance, it is a treat that is sure to be enjoyed by all. Finally, we'll try the Moroccan Bruit. In the heart of Morocco lies a market that is as diverse as it is vibrant. Here, the locals can find all sorts of goods, from traditional spices to fresh fruits and vegetables. But there is one item that stands out from the rest, the almond bruit. The almond bruit has been a part of Moroccan cuisine for centuries. It is a sweet pastry that is made with a simple dough and filled with sweet almonds. The dough is folded and stuffed, and then deep fried in oil. The resulting pastries are golden and crispy on the outside, and filled with a warm, sweet almond filling. The almond bruit is a beloved treat for many in Morocco. Not only is it a delicious snack, but it is also a part of the culture. For many, it is a reminder of home and of the special moments spent with family. The almond bruit is a beloved part of Moroccan culture and cuisine. It is a reminder of home, of family, and of sweet moments shared. That's it for our tour of Morocco's traditional pastries. For more information on Moroccan food, culture, and lifestyle, be sure to check out MoroccoNation.com. Thanks for watching.